Hello, hello, and welcome back to another episode of Rain Code. So, we are in the final mystery labyrinth ever in the game. I don't know what to expect. I don't I don't know if we're searching for the whole truth in this labyrinth or if it's like parts of the truth, but we're in here and we're going to do it. We're by ourselves for the first time. Well, not the first time. I think the first the first ever mystery labyrinth we did in the prologue was when we were by ourselves. Um, but yeah, we're in it. We're going to figure it out. I I have my theories. We'll see if they are prove, proven correct or completely incorrect. <laughs> you know, we'll see. But like, I think that's the fun of the game. So I'm really excited to get into it. Um, I do think that if this mystery labyrinth is very long, um... I might split it into two parts. It really depends. It depends if it's long. Because I have a feeling it'll be long. Because there are a lot of mysteries that we, we need to solve. But if it's long, I'll split it into two parts. If not, then it'll be in one part. And I'm just saying nonsense. I don't know. <laughs> uh, but anyway, let's get into it. I don't, I don't even know what to expect. I still think Makoto and Yuma are like mirrors of each other. I think Karumi has something to do with it. I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> Why did you let go of this? Oh my god. Thanks for good luck. You can't just start breaking tradition, you know. Oh, I, I can't. Listen. I hated Shinigami at the beginning of this game. I couldn't stand her. And now I might as well like, put me in a rainbow wig and clown makeup because clearly I'm a clown because I like her now. I'm sorry. I admit it. I like her now. I don't hate her. <sighs> I mean, I, I've heard some people say that they grew to like her, like, in the later chapters and I, I can see it now. She's she's a lot more tolerable now. Like, I guess because she seems more human now, maybe? Like, she has... Like, she does seem to care for Yuma and she has, like, at... And... By extension, she cares for the people that he cares about, like, in her own way, but... I'm still terrified of it, what are you talking about? <laughs> I don't know because I I'm still awful at the reasoning death matches. I'm not looking forward to those. This mystery labyrinth seems different from the previous ones. I figured we'll finally uncover Kanai Ward's ultimate secret just up ahead. I don't know. Something's something's fishy. Like I don't think. Like, maybe the WDO is in on it with Makoto. Like, clearly Makoto is a mastermind, big brain type of dude. And I think he's the one whose DNA created a successful homunculus that escaped. Which I think is Yuma. Um, and we did get kind of get a glimpse of Makoto's face in the last part. I still haven't- I haven't gone back and checked it. Like, I'm literally- I'm playing this immediately after I finished recording that part. But... Like, to me, it looked like Yuma. I could be wrong. I could be totally wrong. And you could be, like, yelling at me from the other side of that screen. But, like, I think I think when Makoto takes off his mask, and I think he will now that we've seen, like, his eye, I think he'll eventually take it off in the end. I think we'll see that he either looks just like Yuma or he looks just like maybe Kurumi. Because I think Kurumi might have something to do with this. She, um, she passed out when the sun came out and the rain stopped which we found out can um like the sun the defective homuncula homunculi are like quote allergic to the sun <laughs> so like she might be a defective one but like not as defective as the unresponsive zombies you know i don't know though i don't know something that something's gonna be karumi has a secret Yuma has secrets. Like, what happened? Why before Yuma? Like, what happened before Yuma made the D 
deal with Shinigami? Like, I guess that's what we're gonna find out. I hope so. There's so many questions still out there. Also, where are my friends? <laughs> where are all my friends? There's no way they're all dead. I refuse to believe it. No matter what the truth may be, I will expose it. Whatever the mystery may be, I'll never turn my eyes away. That's my mission as a detective. Can I count on your support again, Shinigami? Give your life for the truth. Yes, I am. Oh, she goes again. This this part, I can't deal with this part. Thanks. Oh, you've never thanked me for this before. Oh. I consider just handing it over normally, but I'm glad I kept it this way instead. Oh, so she could have chosen to just hand it to us instead of throwing it up on the floor. You can do it normally. <laughs> anyway, let's go. Let's unravel all this mystery labyrinth. I'm scared. The mystery labyrinths scare me. They're not talking. That's weird. They usually always start talking. Oh. Whoa. This is Kanai Ward. The mystery this time seems to be deeply related to Kanai Ward itself. Just like you said, Master. If we keep going, we should be able to expose Kanai Ward's ultimate secret. This place seems fit for the final mystery. Speaking of. Why do you think this is the last mystery labyrinth? No reason. It just feels like that. Is this the last chapter of the game? I think I needed your powers in order to expose Kanai Ward's ultimate secret in the first place. I've got a feeling that when we solve this mystery, our pact will come to an end. Does that mean... Am I wrong? Does that mean he dies? You no, know I can't reveal anything about our pact. Regardless... I train you to be a great detective, there'll come a day you won't need me anymore. Hmm. But there's still a ways to go before I can call myself a true detective. At the very least, I have to eradicate all unsolved mysteries from this world and bring happiness to everyone. Hmm? I think I've heard that before somewhere. Don't you remember? You heard that from the person who left the strongest impression on you. Nobody. I'm just echoing what they said. I guess you could say they influenced me. If that was said by a detective you admire, it seems like a good idea to aim for the same goal. Oh. Oh God. Oh no. So like when their pact ends. I, I might be sad to actually see her go, not gonna lie. But like, if their pact ends, does he die? Like, does she reap his soul? At the end? If he even has one. I mean, he's a homunculus, I think. I can, I'm probably wrong. What was the- what does that say? 
What was the cause of Amaterasu and Kane Ward's development? I don't know. What was the cause of the development? The research of the homunculus? Um, ten years ago, started as a homunculi. I don't know. What? Oh, so this? I don't know. <laughs> Oh, am I correct? More of these and less reasoning death matches for me, please. I'm not so good at those. The mystery of Kanai Ward began with the homunculus research. Yeah, there's no mistake if that's the root cause of what's going on in this city. So it involves the mystery of the homunculus research? Let's clear it up all at once, Master! Why did the Unified Government request the homunculus research? For military purposes, for medical technology, for academic research. Can I check the keys? Because I don't remember. I don't know. Why did they do it? Um, development began once Amaterasu headquartered there. Ten years ago, Amaterasu Corporation solved their research on homunculi. Started, not solved. Can't read. Top secret research kept from society, which Amaterasu loves for sure. Their client is UG, who spent a ton of money to keep the research secure. The only thing known about homunculus research is that human beings are created from human cells, blah, blah, blah. Um, it's an artificial human whose age, sex, and appearance have been perfectly copied. See, that's why I think that Makoto created Yuma and he's wearing a mask to hide his face. Because the homunculus would be the exact same copy as whoever made them. It's so like... He couldn't have possibly made Karumi kind of thing, you know, because she's a girl and they look nothing alike. As far as I know, I don't know what Makoto looks like. I think he looks like Yuma. <laughs> like that's in my head. So, <laughs> um, but anyway, I don't know what the purpose was. Um, heavily invested in Amaterasu's, uh, homunculus research. It appears there was another research facility of the same scale directly controlled by the unified government. They had two research facilities compete with one another in an attempt to further de to promote development. Okay. Amaterasu Corp began conducting human experiments. By the DNA. Well, like, where does it say what the purpose was for? Okay, I thought maybe it would tell me something in the clues, but clearly I'm wrong because I'm dumb. <laughs> Military, medical. I think maybe medical technology. I'm going to talk to her and see what she says. If they finish the homunculus research, they'd be able to make humans that can live forever, right? Yeah, so that makes me think of medical. Yes. This is my choice. Am I right? I think I am. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Am I wrong? I was wrong? Oh, wrong way. Really? And what was it for? Weird. Why did they request military to make an army? Academic doesn't seem right. All right. You know what? We're guessing at this point. Let's go. We're in my guessing era. <laughs> then again, this whole game has been just guesses and constant error. So it's fine. We're fine.
Oh, the, the yeah, this is it. Okay. Surprise! I thought it was medical. Yeah, I'm wrong. Maybe they just want to create an army. The Yuji wanted to create an immortal army and requested that Amaterasu conduct homunculus research. Yep, there it is. That's all the government ever wants to do, it seems, in these stories. Basically, it was for military purposes. So what exactly are homunculi? They are artificially made human beings. Human DNA is extracted to use as a base to grow human cells. The age, gender, and looks are synthetically copied onto an artificial human. Oh, what's the fun in copying people to begin with? That's something I'll never understand. Humans are such weird creatures. Uh oh, oh no, oh no, here we go. It's the first one. Who is that? But whose phantom is it? Wasn't there at the at the very beginning of the game? Like now I I probably played it like 5 months ago, but we had been chasing somebody. Was that Karumi though? That was Karumi. But this is a little like Karumi. I'm confused. Who are you? Huh? It's me. Oh. Why? Hmm. I wonder why. Because is it? Wouldn't the mystery phantom in this labyrinth, the mystery phantom would be Makoto, right? Or it should be, because the mystery phantom is always the person who's trying to stop them, who's the reason why they have to jump into the mystery labyrinth, right? The one who's trying to kill them. That usually ends up being the mystery phantom. So it's Makoto, right? So that's why it's him. That's why it's him. I think Makoto and Yuma look exactly the same. I think Yuma's the homunculus of Makoto, made from Makoto anyway. It, it's it's just further influencing my theories, and I'm just I'm, I won't be able to let it go at this point. <laughs> That's a bit weird. Oh, I hate these. Hopefully I won't have to edit out every single one of them like I did in the last Mystery Labyrinth. I literally, I failed miserably at every single Reasoning Deathmatch. It was horrible. But he's not talking. Don't go any further. Oh, he is talking. There's nothing up ahead. Let's give up and go home. What I'm looking for doesn't exist. I'm killing are just a fantasy. No. You're completely wrong. So many self-serving arguments. It's all made up. Use your powers of deduction and repel the contradiction. That claim doesn't hold up. Yeah. Thank you. I did it the last time. It didn't work. It's not a fantasy. Homunculi do exist. Yeah, we saw a bunch of them. And we are one of them. No. Homunculi don't exist. I was wrong. Completely wrong. I can't believe we're the mystery phantom. That's crazy. Oh, here we go. Homunculi don't exist. Oops. Have you even seen the homunculus? I have, yes. Do you have any proof they exist? Yes. I've seen one. Multiple. It was being researched. That research was canceled. Was it? Research. 
was a complete failure. Th that's true. They weren't able to succeed. Oh, come on. That tricked me. Homunculi don't exist. You may want to cover up the truth, Master, but uh, there's no doubt a homunculus was there. Do you have anything that might prove that, Main Master? No. Let's check the solution keys. Okay, so I think we have to repel when he said that the research was cancelled. We'll see, though. Restricted area. They wander around the... Peace on human flesh. Bubuki's investigation yielded. It describes how Yuji first successfully created a homunculus. Okay, so it's this one, and we have to refute what he said about the them being failures, because there was one that was not a failure. It was a complete failure. Yay, I did it! Oh, I did it! I didn't fail miserably. Homunculus. Yeah, I think it's Yuma. I'm gonna. I'm sorry. I'm gonna stop. I can't. I won't. I can't stop saying it because every time they talk about, it, I'm like, yeah, it's you. <laughs> I'll try to stop. It's probably annoying having me say it every single time. The report Fubuki left me clearly said so. Uh... Okay, that wasn't so bad. I failed worse times, you know, like there have been worse times of failure for me. So that really was me. Why would I be a mystery phantom? Maybe because it's Makoto. That's what I think anyway. There's no point thinking about these things if you have no clues. But let's keep going. Cause every single time the mystery phantom has been the person trying to kill us and trying to stop us when we get caught like trying to arrest us or kill us or something like it was Yomi it was the girl with the pink hair it was Seth it was Zilch was Zilch was he the mystery phantom no yes I don't remember but like it's always been the person right so that's why I think it is Makoto but like I don't know. I'm very confused. I'm, I'm like, my brain is like. Anyway, the unified government must have really wanted to make that homunculus. They tasked Amaterasu to make it, but set up their own research facilities as well. They tried to accelerate the research by having these two facilities compete with each other. The unified government was first to have their experiments succeed. That was the only successful experiment. Those are some terrible odds. What I want to know is the identity of that homunculus they were able to create. Hmm. According to the report Fubuki left behind. They found success in one person's DNA. Someone believed to have the world's greatest mind. The only successful specimen was from the world's greatest mind. Hmm. Makoto. I think it was from Makoto and it created Yuma. I'm, okay, I'm gonna stop. Oh, he's back. <laughs> Excuse me? Shinikami. He looks dumb? I like I like their banter. I'm not gonna lie. I like it. Okay. The clock tower. It's blocking the path. Wait. The clock tower wasn't that where Chapter One's mystery was? Or is each location from each mystery going to block us? That would be cool. It's like this is where the other murders took place. The murder. That we solved in chapter one with Lara. 
And like, what if... Why are there two Shinigamis also? What? <laughs> is that a glitch or is that on purpose? <laughs> There's two of her. But... And the second one... Would be the school. The third one... That building... Where the that rebel group was. Fourth one... The lab. So like, I'm guessing those are the ones that are going to block their path. Why are there two Shinigamis? Who is the person with the world's greatest mind? It's Makoto. I already know. Let's go. I know who it is. I know who it is. I don't need to read it. I know who it is. What? Oh. Right. Here. It was in the memo. Duh, stupid. Sorry. I'm so dumb. It's okay. It's okay to fail. Only you just gotta get back up and keep the trying. The true identity of the world's greatest mind was written on a memo left by the dead criminal in a refrigerator. It's the person known as number one of the World Detective Organization. Okay, maybe I'm completely wrong in my theory about right Makoto and... What's going on? It's like he's trying to lead me somewhere. Maybe my theory of Makoto and Yuma is so off and I keep saying it, it just makes me sound even dumber. So, I'm gonna stop saying it. I say, which is probably a lie. Because I'm probably gonna say it again. Excuse me? Do you know something? Please, please... Speak. To think... The only successful homunculus was based on the world's greatest mind. Number one of the WDO. But if that's true... And there's something else bothering me about it. Hey, Master! Hmm? What's up? Nothing. I was just thinking about how we should keep our focus on Kanai Ward's mysteries. Hmm. I mean, the completed homunculus disappeared, right? So that doesn't have anything to do with what's going on here. Does it? I think it does. Is she trying to hide something? Like, is is she trying to hide something? Also, this is very much the first case. Setting aside how the UG's research facility succeeded in their homunculus experiment. Problem is common one. What happened to the research being done here? What occurred at Kanai Ward in the name of scientific research? What occurred? I don't know. Factory? Yomi? No. It has nothing to do with that stupid idiot. This? I don't know. Under the UG's jurisdiction, Amaterasu Corp grew in patients and conducted an experiment three years ago. That was known as Project Homunculus. Wasn't Dr. Weska in charge of that? What was it all about anyway? I don't know the exact details. what we have to figure out next 
What was done in Kanai Ward for the sake of research? I wonder what was done to prepare for Project Homunculus. Looks like that's where we're starting. Good luck, Master. I'm gonna need it, cause clearly I suck at this game. <laughs> that's okay. I enjoy it, nevertheless. This one. Jeez, like, what's wrong with me? Something else also happened in Kanai Ward three years ago, at the same time as Project Homunculus. All the residents were forced to take a blood test. Maybe those mandatory blood tests had something to do with Project Homunculus? It's true, both took place three years ago, so I doubt they're unrelated. Which means the blood test wasn't checking for some contagious disease among the residents. They were extracting DNA from everyone to see who was suitable for homunculus research. Wait, if that's the case, then Project Homunculus is... Oh, what now? That has to do with chapter three, right? The flood. Right. The school was chapter two. This place seems familiar. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it looks like Doya District. I wonder if we have to go through here. Seems that way. Okay then, let's go. I'm trying. But what? Because clearly I'm not in on it. I'm not smart enough for this. What's wrong? Well, if it's what I think it is, then horrible things were done for this research. I guessed. I started panicking. Oh. It. It's hard to believe. But it's the truth. Are they all what what? Project Homunculus was an effort to create homunculi out of all the residents in Kanai Ward. After Amaterasu was outdone by their rival, they started searching for suitable DNA in every possible way. That's what the blood tests were for. They created homunculi out of every citizen in town. Even if a few failed, all they needed was one successful specimen. That was the purpose behind Project Homunculus. So, what happened after that? Well... Master, you better concentrate! Um... homunculus was a failure and as a result the blank leak mystery occurred the defective homunculi from the experiment were responsible for that event i'll get straight to the point project homunculus is a failure something unexpected occurred in our efforts to find suitable dna although we successfully created homunculi the results have been dubbed defective. The events Kurumi mentioned where the city was ruined while everyone slept. The destruction of the giant shutters of the lab where the experiment took place. All of that was caused when the defective homunculi 
attacked Kanaiwari. The entire city was destroyed by defective homunculi, and no one's ever said a thing about it? Yeah, how do they not remember? What is the Blank Week mystery anyway? How can a whole week pass in a single night? Right. Those are the mysteries we need to unravel to get to the heart of the Blank Week. I think their memories were taken. Like, I think the week happened, but they think they just slept through it. Because all their memories were erased. I don't know. But I still haven't gathered my thoughts about it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, here we go with the barrel again. I hate the barrel minigame. Oh, she didn't wink at me this time. I feel unnerved that she didn't wink at me. All of Kane Ward's residents were blank during the blank week. It's going too fast. Are you serious? Oh replaced what do you mean they were all replaced like they're not the real people i'm so confused replaced they were all re what what <laughs> that took me forever I don't get it. I don't. I don't understand. How are they replaced? Like what? Replaced with what? Clones? Other homunculus? Were they all repla- Are they all? Wait. The reason why Karumi fainted is like that was the clue in the Shinigami puzzle that I had to do over and over and over and over again. Is it because? She, because it did say, what, like, maybe the homunculus project wasn't a failure. Maybe it succeeded to a point where they were able to be replaced. Like, there are still the defective ones that are zombies, right? But now the ones who are in Kanai Ward are the not so defective ones. Like that's why Kurumi fainted when the rain stopped because she is a homunculus. She, like she just got the memories of her DNA counterpart, right? Because it said in, I think it was Vivia's research, it said that the homunculus takes after everything from the, the host. It takes appearance uh, and memory from the host. So it's possible every single person was replaced with a homunculus. Right? Maybe? Yes, no, maybe so. I'm walking off a cliff. Great job, Master. Awesome teamwork. Master? I mean, look at his face. I'm also very like that's also me. I don't understand. Every single person in Kanai Ward is a homunculus? They were all swapped during the Blank Week mystery. Right, but who or what was swapped? People with homunculus. Everyone in Kanai Ward. Each resident was replaced by their homunculus. It happened during the Blank Week mystery. So Karumi is a homunculus. That's why she fainted when the rain disappeared. But does that mean that Yuma isn't? I don't know. I'm still fi I'm fixated on Yuma being a homunculus. I'm probably wrong. And that's I think that's the problem because I'm so fixated on that idea.
It's impossible. Oh no. It's too ridiculous to think they all could be swapped with homunculi. That's nothing but a fantasy. Oh, come on, Shini got me, please. <laughs> Obviously, it's me. The blank wig mystery has nothing to do with homunculi. Your deduction is wrong. Everything you say is wrong. Master! Master's getting closer! I just said I'm the real one. Oh, no, here we go. I hate these. Clearly, all, a lot of the mini games are not not my forte. Okay. It's okay because you know what? I still enjoy the game. That's the most important part, I think. Should be a contradiction somewhere. You gotta find it and repel it. Yeah. Okay, I'll try. It's this one. Yeah, okay. Okay, huh? Residents were swapped with homunculi? Hot. That's impossible! Something else caused the blank wound. Everyone was drugged and knocked out! Every resident fell asleep. So, there's a gap in their memories. Where the memories connect across that leak. That's impossible if they were swapped. If they were swapped, they'd mm. be different beings. And oh no, that's not true. That's it. That's what I have to repel, right? The memories would be totally different too. No wait, no, that's that's the one. The memories shouldn't be linked. Yes, they, they are. Even I can't believe all the residents got swapped with homunculi. I mean, no one said anything about it, and they were. They all have memories that go way back. But maybe that's not surprising. It was all explained in the report left behind. Oh my god. Finally. I, I accidentally switched solution keys. Homunculus retains all the memories their original had when their DNA was first extracted. I meant to do that forever, but like I pushed the wrong button when trying to get the shield and I switched solution keys without realizing and when it, it when I tried to refute that statement that I knew was the one I needed to refute, which I figured, it was... It didn't work and I got frustrated. Like I... I don't want to talk about it. That's why the specimens created by the experiment also have memories from before the blood test. It explains how their memories are linked. No, your reasoning is obviously wrong. They can inherit memories? Yes. What about the week no one remembers? If memories are kept after swapping, there wouldn't be a 
open their memories. They would. The blank week is part of every resident's memory. This fact proves it. Nothing swapped places with the residents. If their memories were inherited, then there shouldn't be a gap in them. And I doubt all the residents had amnesia for a week. No, maybe it's possible everyone lost their memories. Really? Then do you have the evidence to prove it? Take another look at the solution keys, Master. Um, okay. When the defective homunculi encounters sunlight, they become extremely stressed and lose control. Homunculus. This one? Eric memories. What about the week no one remembers? If memories are kept after swapping, there wouldn't be a gap in their memories. Oh, yay. Oh, I did it on the first try. I could cry. That's the first time ever. Detective homunculi go berserk in sunlight. They lose all sense of reason as well as their memories. The sunlight made them go wild as soon as they were born, wiping their memories during that time. There was sunlight shining through the lab. Maybe it was to test if the creatures had overcome that weakness. Yeah, and clearly they hadn't. The experiment failed. In a previous experiment, a defective homunculus was exposed and died. Oh, exposed to sunlight? Trying to adjust for it worked against us. Made them even more violent and... They went berserk and attacked Kanai War. When they eventually returned to their senses, their memories were reset to before the blood test. Oh, so they were the ones who destroyed the city. Oh, oh, I get it now. The entire week had passed by then. But since none of them remember what happened, the week felt like a single day to them. That's what caused the blink week mystery? I don't know, because he's creepy. Also, thank God that's over. What, Yuma's- Yuma's sensing something. Something... I think he has a feeling. I- I still think this mystery phantom, like, it's Yuma, but like... Is it really Yuma? Yako too? I don't think any of them knew they'd been replaced by homunculi either. Wait, Yako too? That's because they lost those memories when they emerged as homunculi and went wild. Oh, because the real Dr. Huesca died. What happened to the original residents? The ones who first lived in Kanai Wood. I think they're gone. Because we saw Dr. Huesca die. The one who was killed by Yako was a homunculus. When the defective homunculi went berserk and attacked Kanai Ward, the original residents died. All of them. They're all dead? That 
That explains how the homunculi replaced their originals after they returned to their senses. By the time the homunculi regained consciousness, the originals were gone. With the exception of those like Kurumi's grandfather, who refused the blood test and vanished completely. That's because those who didn't have their DNA extracted had no homunculus to replace them. So they just died. So if they were killed without a substitute in place, they were considered missing. This is the tragedy that befell Kanai Ward three years ago. That's the truth behind the Blank Week mystery. Oh no, he's coming back. You destroyed it. You exposed the mystery behind the city. You are an uninvited guest here. You're the enemy. But it's not over yet. You still haven't reached the truth behind the city. I won't let it happen. I will shelter the mystery of Kanai Ward. Like, why? Why is Yuma sheltering the mystery behind Kanai Ward? I don't understand. Why is he the mystery phantom? <laughs> There's always been a, a reason for the mystery for the mystery phantoms and who they were. But this time, it I don't know. Something's weird. Oh, I hate this. Uh, I don't know. I keep telling you. Places is just in your head. You have no proof a switch even took place. There's zero evidence for that. The homunculi will destroy after the experiment. At the hands of the researchers who saw failures. That's why it's impossible. Homunculi would have attacked the city. No one was killed by the homunculi. Wait, that's it. It's hard to tell through all the static, but uh, the issue is whether or not the people of Kanai Ward were killed. If your deduction is correct, then the homunculi slaughtered the original residents, right? Yeah. Then. Then they took the places of those originals without even being aware of it themselves. Yeah, Let's right. check the solution keys. I know there's some proof, Master. It's, uh... Look at you. It's, uh, Hueska, right? We saw him die. Video recorded by the doctor. At the end of the recording, he is shown being killed by an out-of-control defective homunculus. It's this. Okay. Tell I know what to do. Destroyed after the experiment. At the hands of the researchers who saw failures. That's why it's impossible. Homunculi would have attacked the city. No one was killed by the homunculi. This is the truth. Yay. Okay, okay. I, I, I you know, didn't fail a thousand times. Dr. Wesker wrote a video journal discussing the conclusions of Project Homunculus. It clearly showed the doctor dying at the hands of a defective homunculus who went out of control. But we met the doctor at Amaterasu's lab, even though he should have been dead already. The fact that we met him after he died proves he and the other citizens were all replaced by homunculi. Uh. I see. So the doctor at the lab was also swapped out homunculus. So everybody except the the detectives who came in from the outside, right? That's why he didn't know about the results of the experiment. And also why he knew nothing about the blank week mystery. He didn't even remember the terrible things he did. He 
he caused the city's greatest tragedy. But maybe what little conscience he had left urged him to leave evidence. No, not yet. I refuse to give up. I don't understand. Why is Yuma fighting to keep the truth hidden? Like, I don't know. I have to protect Kanai Ward! Why does the other master want to protect Kanai Ward so badly? That's what I just said. Oh. You don't fully understand it yet. You know nothing about Kanai Ward. What do you know about its darkness? Oh my god. My one complaint. The rain clouds covered Kanai Ward to block out sunlight, which homunculi are vulnerable to. When when those um sequences happen, the words come come and go way too fast. I can't read it. <laughs> I am an extremely slow reader. I'm not gonna lie. I always have been, always will be. And when it's coming at me in s such fast succession of each other, I can't read it. And I get flustered and I fail. That's that's my biggest problem in this game, I think, is that a lot of the words come and they're they're too fast. There's no time for me to read it, so I, I'm just I'm not processing it, I'm not reading it. And ugh, I can't. I'm I'm just so many things about the mystery labyrinths are really i'm at the point where i'm like i can't do it anymore <laughs> i'm just i'm getting frustrated because it's making me feel like a failure because i keep failing and because like it's the words coming at me i can't read them fast enough and then I get overwhelmed, I get frustrated, and this happens, where I fail over and over and over again, and I have to make these huge edits because I keep failing, and I, it keeps repeating over and over and over again, and I have to listen to him say the same thing over and over and over again. Even though, like, I know the answer, but when it's coming at me and I can't read it, and I don't know... I can barely even see what button I'm supposed to push because I can't finish reading this, the the text before I see what button it is. Like, ugh. Sorry. I hate quick time events. I hate them. Sorry. Let's get back into it, I guess. It, it, I'm, I'm getting to the point. I'm getting to a burnt out point in this Mystery Labyrinth already. The homunculi stopped their attack thanks to the clouds covering the city. We're not done yet. The city's darkness goes even deeper. This is the answer. The dead in Kanai Ward are transported to the abandoned village, a restricted area. Whenever a defective homunculus revives, its intelligence decreases, turning it into a zombie. The city would have been overrun with zombified homunculi if the bodies were left alone. Oh, so all the zombies, which we've seen, of all the people that were dead and we've seen die, because they were all homunculi, they had died a second time. The, the homunculi died, and when they were revived, they were revived as zombies instead of as lucid people. Okay, okay, I think I get it. Mm. Who knows? That's why the bodies have been getting sent to the abandoned village. Peacekeepers always try to get rid of the bodies as fast as possible. 
But did they know they'd turn into zombies? No, they were probably just following orders. They were told that bodies in this city rot quickly. The people of Kanai Ward, including the peacekeepers, didn't know that they're all homunculi. It must also be the reason why they were so strict about keeping this place isolated from the outside world. enough to defeat me? You think that's enough to expose Kanai Ward's darkness? <laughs> more, 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 more! Kanai Ward's darkness goes far, 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 far deeper than that! Huh? What is the source of the nutrition? This is the answer. That's right. The people in Kanai Ward love their meat buns. You know what they're made of, don't you? Yeah, they're made of people. source of nutrients for homunculi is human flesh. That's why everyone craved those meat buns so much. Morning. Homunculi are predisposed to eating human flesh in order to maintain the artificial organic synthesis in their cells. Currently, there are no alternate sources of nutrition, and they grow sick if they do not consume human flesh. Flesh. That's a primal instinct. Homunculi can never defy. What are you? Mystery phantoms are supposed to prevent mysteries from being exposed. Maybe he's not. I don't know what he is. And yet, it's like you're guiding me to the truth. <laughs> It's not just the meat buns. Where'd he go? Residents of Kanai Ward also have other characteristics. Of course, I'm sure you've already noticed them. Have I? Because clearly I'm an idiot. A bomb? He's trying to boom kill you. But you can defuse it by solving the mystery. You've seen it time and time again. You should already know this. Their physical abnormalities. It's another part of Kanai Ward's darkness. I, I, I don't know. Physical abnormalities? Let's go, Master. We gotta join hands and defeat my other master. <laughs> um, I, if Yuma doesn't know, then I most certainly don't. Oh, here we go. Another one of these. Kane Ward's residents' blood is evidence of their physical abnormality. The blood? There's something special about the the blood, the smell, taste, color. Well, he wouldn't smell or taste it, so it has to be the color. What's weird about the color? It's not red. But the blood is never red in these games. It's always pink. Wait, is there is that on purpose this time? Like, not just to avoid gore? It's pink! But like, I always just thought it was... That was because... Um, it's from Spike Chunsoft, you know, because 
in Danganronpa, it was pink too, but that was just because of like, I think to have less, quote, gore, but to make it less realistic gore anyway. I thought that that, it just, that was just what this did. But that was a clue this whole time it wasn't supposed to be pink, and this game it's supposed to be red. What? What? I mean, yeah, everyone has pink blood, but I always just thought... That's what Spike Chunsoft does. What kind of confusion is that? We're trying to mess with me. Yeah, and they all had it because I thought that this was like Danganronpa where they also had pink blood. And I'm pretty sure the reason why they did it pink in those games was because red would have been too gory. Or something like that. It, they wanted to make it more cartoony. So I didn't think anything of it. Which nobody would if they'd played Danganronpa before. Oh, that- that's- that's- that's a trick. They're trying to- they try to trick me! Now that I think about it, it's really abnormal. Blood being pink instead of red is obviously strange. That's also kind of clever, though. Like, that- having that hidden in. Because let's be real. Uh, I'm sure that Spike knew that everybody- Or, not everybody, but most people- who would play this game have played Danganronpa before and they wouldn't think anything of the pink blood because that's how it was in Danganronpa and that's just how they do things it's like their signature and then they turn that into a plot twist that no it's not supposed to be like that the reason it was pink was because they're homunculi I think that's actually kind of clever not gonna lie I, I, I like that twist that's right from the very beginning I thought something was off since I first saw a corpse in this city, I had my suspicions about the color of the blood here. Is that a real corpse? It's not some mannequin, is it? This blood is real? How? Why? I figured it was due to Shinigami haunting me, like it was somehow changing the way I see things. Shinigami, you don't feel anything after seeing this body? Uh, you're asking me how I feel about death? Well, let me tell you, this is totally ordinary! I was just saying there was nothing odd about there being a corpse. The color of human blood doesn't matter to me. But why didn't the other master detectives mention anything about the color? It wasn't mentioned at all while I was investigating crime scenes with Halara. Yeah, why wouldn't they mention it? Oh, right! Maybe... The rain sure has changed things around here. Both the city and the people, too. Supposedly, there's something in the rain that messes with our bodies and the environment. But it's all hearsay. It could be because Chief Yaku said the rain affects things. In fact, maybe it wasn't just the master detectives. Chief Yaku and the other people in town. Maybe they all believed it too. For example, they could have said there were some chemical properties in the rain that causes blood to change color. That seems far-fetched though, doesn't it? In that case, people wouldn't find it strange that their blood was pink. <laughs> yes, homunculi have pink blood. Maybe they were made that way to differentiate them from their originals. And to confuse me. Now, you're finally seeing the big picture. <laughs> I've been waiting for this! Master's Mystery Phantom sure doesn't seem scared of these mysteries being solved. 
Yeah, it's weird. It's like he's he's not trying to block the mysteries, I don't think. I think it's like Yuma said. He's trying to help him find the truth by challenging him and making him think. I don't think he's actually trying to block the truth from coming out, whereas all the other mystery phantoms have, have been. Let's end this. It's time to expose the truth of Kanai Ward's ultimate secret. Already? It's over. <laughs> <laughs> you? You think you can do it? Huh? Wait, wait, wait. We're doing the, the ending? I haven't been playing that long. Usually these are mystery labyrinths are longer. What? Th isn't this too fast? Part one. What was being researched? Well, maybe because it's hearts? I don't know. No, what? You're gonna try to tell me that Makoto is a good guy? Get the heck out of here. There's no way I'm gonna believe that. Is this really the end of the mystery labyrinth? It, even without all the editing I know I'm gonna have to do, it hasn't even been two hours yet. Like, that's crazy to me. That's it? to be more I get these recaps out of kindness you know I'm just saying it'd be nice to get a little appreciation oh sorry I thought this was all a part of your process or something anyway time to boom kill this mystery phantom let's expose all the facts and finish this once and for all it's time for the very last deduction dinner it all started 10 years ago the UG tasked both its own research facility and Amaterasu Corp to conduct homunculus research. They were trying to create an immortal army of homunculi that could just come back to life, right? If that happened, they've just got to be out of the job! By having the two organizations compete with each other, they hoped to rush development along. And it was the UG's research facility that managed to create a homunculus first. That drove Amaterasu into a panic. So, three years ago, Project Homunculus was conducted under Dr. Weska's direction. Acting like they were just testing for a contagious disease, they took blood from all the people in Kanai Ward 
were turning the town upside down trying to find DNA that would help them make a monkey line. They got beat to the punch and were rushing for results. Huge death flag if you ask me. Ultimately, the experiment was a failure. Their efforts resulted in nothing more than a massive defective homunculi. Defective homunculi have two fatal flaws. One, they revive after death with fully repaired bodies, but their minds deteriorate and they become zombies. Two, sunlight whips them into a bloody frenzy, but they won't remember what they did afterwards. You're not going to sit here and tell me that Makoto is a good guy. I'm not. I won't believe it. I won't. There's no way he's not a weasel. Mystery refers to the period where they went out of control and lost their memories. So basically, Hanai Ward's ultimate secret is... Three years ago, the defective homunculi of all Kanai Ward residents murdered their human counterparts. Exposed to sunlight at the very moment of their creation, they went berserk and wiped out the entire city. Rain clouds then blocked out the sun, and their human memories returned. The defective homunculi have no idea they're not human. And they continue on to this day in this land of never-ending rain. They just live their lives, happily munching away on human flesh folk bones. The pink blood wasn't caused by the rain. It's actually conclusive evidence that every resident is a homunculus. This is the truth behind Kanai Ward's ultimate secret. There has to be more. Huh? Huh? What? What just happened? Hello? That wasn't me. That was my sword, but... Oh, there he is. Yeah, he's a weasel. He's a weasel. Look at him. Look at him and his creepy face. He's a weasel. I knew there was no way it could be over. That was way too fast of a mystery labyrinth. It's you. Hey. You finally made it. Been waiting for you. So this guy's the mystery phantom now. I figured he'd show up eventually. You sure took a while getting here. Maybe I shouldn't expect much of you. What? Why does he have a sword like Yuma's? Hmm? Is that a solution blade? Hmm? Is it because he is Yuma? <laughs> It's only fueling my thought that Yuma's a homunculus of Makoto. We shall see which of us should be destroyed. Let's wield our solution blades to find the answer. Like, it does make me think that. Like, he wasn't killed. I think he's human. Not this. He's the mystery phantom in the, in the labyrinth. But, like, in the real world, he's still the human. And he wasn't killed by his counterpart because his counterpart was the one that ran away. Yuma. That's what I think, anyway. And wasn't effective. Oh my god. Don't tell me. You didn't assume you already arrived at the truth, did you? Like, 
because because Yuma is not a defective homunculi, he's not affected by the sun. You promised you would expose all truth. Is this really the best you can do? Well, perhaps you're not as capable as I thought. How did you get that solution blade? Oh yeah. You should be more curious. After all, you understand nothing about me. Like, that's it, right? Yuma could be a homunculus, but he's not affected by the sunlight because he's not a defective homunculus. They did mention, like, I know that they said that it was created from number one or whatever. And, like, I know number one also looked like that guy, that detective from the train at the beginning, who whose name I forgot because he was irrelevant. Um, like, it could have been that guy. But then again... That's just, it's what I think. I really, I think Yuma's a homunculus and I think he's made from Makoto and he wasn't defective and that's why he can be in the sun. I don't know. That's just me though. I don't know. I don't know. For I am Kanai Ward's ultimate secret. I wonder if Master can even make snap judgments. Battle with Mystery Phantom Makoto. This guy won't let up, huh? You still remember how to deal with this kind of situation, don't you? Not really, because I fail them every single time. If the answer isn't right, just wait it out and gently get ready for the next attack. So it's going to ask me what was happening in Kanai Ward when Makoto arrived. Alright, so I have to push Y, not X. I keep trying to push X. Because clearly I'm a pro gamer. <laughs> What's happening in Kanai Ward when Makoto arrived? Okay, it's uh, it's the uh, the blank week mystery, mystery. during the Blank Week Mystery three years ago. All to resolve that case. Resolve that case? I knew they'd regain control once sunlight was blocked. So, I created the Rain Cloud Generator to gently cover Kanai Ward in rain. It's more like you caged them in! Without me, Kanai Ward would never have been rebuilt! I used everything at my disposal to cover up the tragedy that took place here. But there was no way for me to fix the entire city on my own. Why did you do it? Why do such a thing? You want to know? I did it to protect Kanai Ward, of course. Because I love this city. do anything for it. But you already know that. What did Makoto do to protect Kanai Ward? I don't know. You isolated all of Kanai Ward. Oh yeah, he did do that. You call that protecting them? You trapped them! Oh no, he's getting creepier by the minute. I can't. Without me, Kanai Ward would have been wiped from the map. The UG planned to flatten Kanai Ward to cover up the failed homunculus experiment. But thanks to my negotiating, they saw the benefits of isolation. 
he would peacefully secure the defective homunculi and they wouldn't have to spend a cent. Besides, it'd be a terrible thing if the UG's inhumane research was made public. And through that negotiating, you became CEO of Amaterasu Corporation. Your goal was to rule over Kanai Ward, wasn't it? You still don't understand me. Try to remember. Hmm? Try to remember? Hey, Master. There's something weird about this mystery phantom. There's something weird about everything going on right now. But just the way that he was like, try to remember. As if... I might be reading into it because of my theory that I'm pretty convinced about. But like, he said, try to remember while, you know, hitting the sword against his head. It makes me wonder, oh. Try to remember the memories that he lost when he made the... The contract with Shinigami and those memories maybe they were Makoto's and if he hadn't forgotten everything which he had it was from the beginning he didn't remember anything um if he if he hadn't forgotten he would have had Makoto's memories and he would know why he's doing this but because he made the contract with Shinigami he doesn't know am I even making sense I don't think I make sense in my head because I'm giving myself a headache <laughs> I don't know. Oh, he did that. No. No. He did the- Okay, I know which one it is. I'm sorry. I had to look at them. I know which one it is. He ended the research. Trying to remember. What did I do after I became CEO of Amaterasu Corporation? research I didn't want to create any additional defective homunculi so I ended the research and sealed off the test site Dr. Weska and Yomi objected but as the CEO I was able to quash their complaints oh his mask is getting creepier by the minute Built Kanai Ward all on my own. It is a city for homunculi who have nowhere else to go. You did it to protect the people in the city? That's right. I did it all out of the love I have for this place. That is the undeniable truth. I've never hid my love for Kanai Ward from you at any moment. Yet, you never quite seem convinced about it. What he says makes sense. He's not lying. The experiments created the defects, so he transformed Kanaibor to protect them. But if that's true, what crime is he guilty of? Why have I drawn my sword against him? Hey, Master! Don't let that mystery phantom fool you! Try to remember why he started this in the first place! He's a phantom! He's just trying to prevent you from exposing the truth! Is he? Is that what he's doing right now? Because I don't know. Yeah, you're right. He's no saint. He's a dictator who will do anything to achieve what he wants. What crime did Makoto commit? Okay, made his own mass kidnapping. Oh! Oh my god, it- what- uh, 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 Did his mask come off? You may wear the mask of a saint, but it can't hide the crimes you've committed! 
You are the mastermind behind the global kidnapping case the WDO has been pursuing. What? People were abducted across the world and turned into food for homunculi at your factory. Oh my god. Wait, that's true. I didn't even think about that. Where was he getting the human meat for the meat buns? Oh my god. Are we gonna see him? No, he's putting it back on. Oh, I thought we were gonna see him. Oh no. Oh, that's the worst one yet. I have no choice. They must eat in order to survive. Besides, they never took innocent people. I gathered criminals with no chance of rehabilitation and simply accelerated their sentencing. You saw the memo as well. Besides, they were all on death row anyway. I just, I want to take a second to say the soundtrack is awesome. It doesn't make it right. At any rate, that's not just my club. Huh? Huh? The procurement of these ingredients was done with the full cooperation of the World Detective Organization. I couldn't have asked for a better source of information for the ingredients. You were working with the World Detective Organization? Actually, it's more accurate to say I took advantage of them. Liar! The WDO wouldn't let themselves be used by you! You just flaunted their name to capture criminals! In fact, the WDO itself tasked us with investigating the global kidnapping case. If you were their accomplice, they wouldn't have issued that directive. And we would never have come to Kanai Ward to corner you like this. You still think you've got me cornered? <laughs> you really are clueless. Don't come near me. Stop. The way I see it, you were all gathered at Kanai Ward for other reasons. Very well. Go on and use that simple brain of yours to expose my schemes. The master detectives were assembled to wipe out the master detectives, to oust Yomi, to investigate unsolved mysteries. Okay. <laughs> you really are clueless. The way I see it, you were all gathered at Kanai Ward for other reasons. Very well. Go on and use that simple brain of yours to expose my schemes! Use us. You 
detail of unsolved mysteries and other global cases to lure us to Kanai War. Your true goal was to cast out Yomi, director of the Peacekeepers, since he was in your way. Correct. Well, almost. You're so close. Yomi wasn't in my way. He was in Kanai Ward's way. If all he did was use the Peacekeepers to push his weight around, that would have been fine. But of all things, he was working with Dr. Weska, trying to leak homunculus information. If that happened, the unified government wouldn't remain silent. Kanai Ward's secrets would be exposed to the world. Still, I couldn't expel him myself. The Peacekeepers had grown too strong in this city. You pitted us against the Peacekeepers, and you got what you wanted by eliminating Yomi! So what were you gathering here? It was all part of that mask guy's plan? Because you achieved your goal, you tried to eliminate us? Now that we've outlived our usefulness? Wait a second, it's pink. Why is it pink? What happened to the other master detectives? Were you the one who bombed WDO headquarters? Oh no, that's the worst one yet. Oh no, no, I didn't think it could get any worse, but there it is. That's the worst one. They knew too much. Oh, oh get him away from me. I feel remorse for what had to be done, but the WDO was in the city's way. In the way? I had no choice. This city must remain a secret in order to survive. Wait, so if his blood is pink, is he a homunculus? And also, if he's a mystery phantom, why is he bleeding? They don't bleed. Is that why Shinigami was like, blood? Maybe this is actually him. He followed them in here. I don't know. Listen, I'm getting so confused. Having detectives snoop around everywhere was a nuisance. That's why I made them disappear. You'll pay for this. Talking to a mystery phantom might be pointless. But I swear you'll regret this! You are evil incarnate! You used the WDO and slaughtered criminals like animals! You even killed my friends! For all the crimes you've committed, I'll bury your soul here! <laughs> I didn't expect to hear something so valiant from the likes of you! I wonder... What if it's the opposite, and Makoto's the homunculus and Yuma's the per the human? Listen, I'm getting so confused. I need to stop. Tell me, do you really think you can do this? You're nothing but an empty shell of a man. Don't give me that! I'll... Master, don't let him egg you on. It's a trap. There's something off about this mystery phantom. He doesn't seem normal. He doesn't seem like a mystery phantom at all. Huh? What do you mean? What on earth is happening right now? What is this? The people of Kanai Ward! They're all mystery phantoms! There's too many of them! I've never seen anything like this! All of them? Kanai Ward must remain shrouded in mystery for everyone here to live in peace. Even they haven't realized they are homunculi yet. No. They must never know. 
It would be too cruel a fate. Their very existence is this city's mystery. They are the mystery? Take a good look. Aren't they pitiable? They're labeled as defective and must continue to live in a land without sun. You need them that way! To protect them! <gasps> All of this was to protect them. Oh no, I, I didn't think it could, get, it could get worse. It's worse. Do you understand how much I've endured for them? I can't look at him. He's terrifying me. I've committed atrocities to keep them fed. If any died, they were swiftly taken to the abandoned village. When anyone asked about the color of their blood, I said it was caused by the rain. This is all for their sake! I did it for them! They're outcasts from this world who can only survive within a cage of rain! <sighs> Master, don't start feeling sorry for phantoms. They're still inside the mystery labyrinth. If you can't solve the mystery, you'll be absorbed by the labyrinth and your soul will vanish. I know. I've already made up my mind. I will expose the truth. Oh my god. Whoa. It's me. It's Yuma. Master's mystery phantom is back? I don't know if Makoto this Makoto here is a mystery phantom. Because we saw when we, when we entered the labyrinth, he was able to move. Right? It, usually it freezes time completely. He was able to move. He might have followed them in here and this is actually him. Whereas, like, because the phantoms always have the rainbow flames coming out of their eyes. <laughs> this must be a mystery phantom created from your reluctance. My reluctance? What good would come from solving mysteries? Who would be made happy by this? <laughs> Shut up! How many people have died because of the mysteries I've solved? He's getting bigger! It's due to your uncertainty. Why must mysteries be exposed? Why can't you just leave them alone? I didn't belong in this city in the first place. don't know what's right. I will fight. I'll fight against my uncertainty. I won't let any mystery phantom deceive me. If you draped the city in mystery, then I will unveil it with the truth. Really? You think you've got what it takes? Yeah, seriously, who the heck is he? I need to know. I need to know more than I need air. <laughs> yes. Shut him up. <laughs> Let's do some deep cleaning on that stupid looking oversized trash. Was that an insult? 
Another barrel? At least it's not a reasoning deathmatch. What is Makoto? Huh? Uh... It's, he had the pink blood. Is he a homunculus? Makoto's blood from earlier. Okay, yeah. He's a homunculus. Okay. H? Where's H? Where is it? I can't... It's too... Oh, it's down here. Homunculus. Oh, it's right there. He's a homunculus. Which is crazy because I thought it was the opposite. I don't know, maybe my whole theory is completely wrong. But he did have the pink blood, so he has to be a homunculus. But who? A homunculus of whom? Right? I'm still like, I'm like 80% convinced when he takes his mask off or he's going to be Yuma underneath. The reason you're so desperate to defend Kanai Ward is because you're also a homunculus. That's why the blood you shed earlier was pink. The color of your blood proves it. Makoto Kagatsuchi, you are a homunculus! No, stop! If you expose anything else, you will only be hurting yourself. Maybe it's the opposite, and Makoto is the homunculus of Yuma. Huh? You're so close. Come on. You're within reach of my mask. Oh, I want to know. I want to see. I got to see it. Where was Makoto born? WDO, Amaterasu Lab, or the research facility. Uh, I don't know. Okay, I, I was looking to see my options, okay? Oh. Like, I think he's Yuma underneath there. I still think it. Maybe then Yuma's the human. You saved Kanai Ward during the Blank Week mystery. You were able to move about, unaffected by sunlight. Wait, he's the the successful homunculus. It's him. Which means you're not a defective homunculus. Mm-hmm. What else? Three years ago, right before you came to Kanai Ward, a homunculus escaped from the UG's research facility. It was the only perfect homunculus specimen. That's what you are! Yes? Keep going. You can reach my mask if you just go a bit further. Ooh, it's getting good. Makoto's DNA is based on Yuma. Number one. WDO's number one. Yeah, but he doesn't look like him, though. So is the WDO's number one quote that we've seen the actual number one, or is it Yuma? Because wouldn't... It would be the... The physical features and everything would all be the same, right? I don't know. Something's weird. Because that's definitely not the number one we know. He's not that guy. He's a copy of number one? He doesn't look like the number one we saw. 
So maybe his youth was restored when he became a homunculus. If you looked just like number one, it'd be easy for you to manipulate the WDO from the shadows. That's how you procure dangerous criminals as food for the homunculi here, isn't it? I see. Number one. So that's my identity, huh? Right, right. Things are turning out as I expected. It's so refreshing when things go as you plan. Planned? But it's not over yet. You're still not done. You still haven't seen it! I need to see his face. I can't go to bed until I see his face. What's with him? No matter how many mysteries I solve, it doesn't face him. Master, I'm sorry. This... This could be really bad. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? Something strange about this phantom. There's still something more to him. I still don't know if he is a phantom. What is he hiding? It just feels off. Everything about this is off. I have no idea what's going on. For now, let's figure it all out. Concentrate, Master! Spot selection. Identify what feels out of place. Cut the face? No. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna die again. This is he always wearing a mask. Does he not want his face to be seen? I'm probably gonna die again. I've died multiple times. I, I, I'm past the point of expecting to get good scores on the on the end. I don't care. <laughs> Because he's not a phantom. I don't I don't think he is one. I think he's the real guy. So why? He's not a mystery phantom. Huh? It's actually him. I'm sure of it. He wasn't created by the mystery lockdown. Then that's the real Makoto? Yes. Took you long enough to figure that out? Oh, mighty detective. How did you enter the mystery labyrinth? I'm getting bored of all this talk. Let's finish things. Yeah, because every time someone entered the mystery labyrinth with him, it was because they had a connection with him. So, the, it's true. Why was he able to enter? I don't know. Because he is him? I'm convinced. I'm sorry. <laughs> Next time I'll come at you full force. This will decide Kanai Ward's fate. Only one of us will leave here alive. Tell me your answer! Master, you can't just go take a swing at him! We're inside the mystery labyrinth, so you have to solve mysteries! What mysteries? How a living person could make it inside here! You just might defeat him by answering that question! And how does he have the blade? How did Makoto enter the mystery labyrinth? I don't know. who have signed a pact with Shinigami can enter the mystery labyrinth. But there are exceptions. As the one who made the pact, 
Those whose hands I've held with my coalescence can also enter the mystery labyrinth. <laughs> Master, when did you use coalescence with him? Did we? I don't... We didn't, right? Well, that's the strange part. I've never used coalescence with him. He doesn't have any ability I'd want to borrow to begin with. That's what makes me think. He's a homunculus of Yuma. him he's him underneath the mask it's yuma that's right you got it i use coalescence on you earlier we should turn off the alarm before we celebrate our reunion aren't you worried about kurumi's body oh my god he did grab his hand here lend me a hand oh my god i said lend me a hand and then you did. That is when you allowed me to activate coalescence. But why are you able to use it? That power belongs to Shinigami. That's where you're mistaken. Coalescence isn't Shinigami's power. It's Yuma's. Huh? It's his, right? That's his forte. Coalescence is the forte of the World Detective Organization's number one. Oh my god. The real number one is Yuma? Number one's forte? But it's his, but Yuma has it, so it's him. What do you mean? If it's not Shinigami's power, then how can I use it? Because you are number one. What if he is? And the guy who was quote number one was just a stand-in. Shinigami? Uh, Shinigami? Why, why, do you, why, 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 why do you have that look on your face? Shinigami? Why aren't you saying anything? What are you hiding? Does she know? Has she known the whole time? I can't say. I promised. You promised who? Promised? What's wrong? It's the end for you if you can't figure this out. I will end you! Why? Why am I able to use number one's forte? Why would Shinigami hide that from me? Wait. Could it be? Yeah. Yeah. Is this related to my lost memories? Yeah. You must true identity. Oh my god. The perfect homunculus was based on the DNA of the WDO's number one. Therefore, you must be the homunculus of number one, Makoto Kagutsuchi! Oh my god! Oh my god! I knew it. I mean, I had it backwards, but I knew it. That's impossible. Oh my god. Oh my god. Like, I thought it was the opposite. For so, but like, oh yeah. So you finally reached the conclusion. Behold, the truth that you've been seeking all along. Where are your eyebrows, though? <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> you 
are number one from the WDO. And I'm the homunculus created from your DNA. I'm number one of the World Detective Organization? She knew the whole time? That's why I can also use your coalescence. Even this solution oh, there's his eyebrows. ...was obtained with this power. But, but, on the video feed, number one looks like an old man. That was a double. You're the one who put him there. Oh my god! Throughout the history of the WDO, those who become number one have rarely shown their faces to the public. They all had many enemies making it problematic to be seen. It's standard protocol for directors to have doubles. And that old man was your double. Wait, what about me being a detective in training? Chief Yako said he investigated my background. But a detective in training was also summoned. Detective in training? That's you. Yuma, looks like you've been working toward being a detective at the WDO. You may be part of the organization, but you haven't earned your stripes just yet. It's true that there is a trainee detective by the name of Yuma Kokohe. It's also a fact that he was summoned to the Amaterasu Express. Then, then he took that identity? You swapped places with the person named Yuma. I swapped with him? It seems he also came to Kanai Ward. I'm sure you've met with him several times. Huh? So, I'm not Yuma? Then the real Yuma Coco Head. What? Who gave up their identity as Yuma Coco Head? I don't know. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. D I said in a few episodes ago, I had said, why are they showing this guy? Like, why would they show a scene with this guy? Is it this guy? Why else would they have shown scenes with him? and opened up a food stand in Kanai Ward. He's the real trainee detective, Yuma Coco Head. Oh my god. Why else would they have scenes with him? Like, why else would he be even be in here if he weren't going to be important? You concealed your true identity and used him as a means to enter Kanai Ward. You knew you'd lose your memory signing the patch with Shinigami. And you couldn't just enter as number one. Even though your face isn't known, your cover could be blown if you use your forte. That's why you disguised yourself as the trainee. And, of course, you ensured he would keep it a secret as well. That's how he switched places? That's just my theory, anyway. Our minds work the same way, after all. I'm sure we would come up with the same plan. Do they... Do they have the same voice actor? It's like, right now, they kind of sound alike. 
But I wonder, like, if they do, that would be, like, really clever, I think. Because, like, I'm guessing, because, like, when, before we found out who Makoto really was, he had a higher pitched sounding voice. And I wonder if that was done on purpose so that it wasn't obvious that they were the same voice. Because they would have the same voice, right? It's like it's the same voice actor doing both. However, I'm sure he didn't expect you to come to Kanai Ward after swapping places. He arrived late on the original fifth car heading to Kanai Ward. Though a trainee, he's still a detective. He must have been wondering what happened after your agreement. But because of his promise to number one, he couldn't tell anyone about the situation. So all he could do was watch from afar. Is that why he always fled when he saw me? He must have been relieved seeing you get along with the other detectives. So he decided to make a living in this town using the special talents listed on his profile. Cooking. I reviewed your profile in the WDO records, and it turns out you have a phenomenal ability. That makes sense. He couldn't cook for crap. <laughs> wow. An ability? So I do have some sort of special power too? Your record claims that you're a great cook. Would you mind making us breakfast from now on? But he wasn't a great cook. Oh, that, that, I like that foreshadowing. I like it. That's good. That's the truth. You realized I was number one? Are you really shocked? Naturally, I knew at first sight. Yeah, hello. You look exactly the same. Of course, like, Makoto wears the mask, but he knows what he looks like underneath it. Come on, Yuma. <laughs> because you and I have the same face. And Shinigami knew the whole time? I'd hoped for a more heartfelt moment when I finally met my original. But that wasn't the case. I suppose that's because I knew you were a threat to Kanai Ward. If you knew, why didn't you do something about it? Why let us just roam free? As I said, you were useful to me until Yomi was dealt with. But more importantly, I was waiting for this moment. Waiting? To confront you here within the Mystery Labyrinth. What do you mean? He's going to expose something about Shinigami? Because she, she knew. I wish for you to vanish forever inside the labyrinth. Okay, calm down now. Huh? If you vanish into the mystery labyrinth, I won't have to kill you directly. Which completes my perfect crime. Just like how you killed those other criminals. Perfect crime? With the original gone, I will become the real one. I will become both the CEO of Amaterasu Corporation and number one of the World Detective Organization. I'll be invincible! Okay, other Yuma, calm down now. That was your goal all along? Did she know the whole time? Exactly. I'll let you enter both the restricted area and this mystery labyrinth. Using coalescence to come here was part of my plan. Oh, so I can kill you here! Uh. You think you can take over the world or something? I swear every final boss is the same. Oh, not at all. With the WDO under my control, there would be no need for anyone to keep sticking their nose in our business. The mystery of Kanai Ward will forever remain a secret. I only have one wish. 
to protect the citizens of this city. For the homunculi of Kanai Ward to live in peace. I'll do anything to accomplish that. I don't care what I must sacrifice. I will protect Kanai Ward. And you will die here. Your death is necessary for Kanai Ward's peace. <gasps> to this city, you are the real evil. Detective. If you expose the truth, many people will suffer. I won't let you do that just to satisfy your ego. No matter how hard you try to destroy this peaceful world, I'll fight back using your own brain against you. Wow. Until I may not be human, but they have the right to live too. I won't let anyone take that away. Even if you are number one of the WDO! <gasps> Sorry, but your plan isn't gonna work. I won't let you kill Master in this labyrinth! The real one won't just stand by, no matter what the imposter is plotting! Oh, Yuma, what are you doing? Master? Yuma, Yuma, come on, come on now. If this is the truth, the truth I've been seeking all this time, maybe I should sacrifice myself here. What? What? If what he said is true, it sounds like I'm the one threatening the peace in the city. You are finally starting to get it. Yes, that's the truth. You are a threat, trying to destroy this wonderful world. What are you saying? You discarded your pride as a detective and made a pact with a death god to go around killing people. You are dangerous. If you're not stopped, you will destroy all of Kanai Ward. That's why I must defeat you, to protect this city! He's wrong, Master! You don't need to listen to anything he says! I've reaped the souls of many criminals. I told myself their sacrifices were necessary for others to be happy. But by that logic, if I disappeared, it would be a small price to pay to protect the city's happiness, right? Which means it's my turn. I can't run away from this just because it's happening to me. I should be sacrificed for the sake of everyone else. Well, wait, Master, remember what you promised. You said you'd never turn away from the truth. That's right, but I saw the truth. I actually know what it is now. Oh. And now that I do, I've realized something. If I expose the truth about this city and tell the world, what will happen to Kurumi and the others? But that doesn't matter! We are in the middle of solving this mystery labyrinth! It does matter! This is their problem! I may be an outsider, but this directly affects them! Will the Yuchi go after them again? Is there any way for them to live without persecution? When I think about what's best, it's obvious I should sacrifice myself. Yes, that's the correct decision. Not as a detective, but as a human being. Doing that will allow the people of Kanai Ward to continue living in peace. What? I wanted to help. 
help someone. Help people. to remain here for the good of everyone I love. Oh. Oh no. Someone's knocking on the door, Yuma. Shouldering everything alone, and I've lost sight of who you are. That makes you no better than him. You're not alone. You've got a kind, teasing, needy, adorable puppy Parker by your side. I didn't ask for this. I don't remember asking for your powers. You may not remember, but I do. Oh, she does. She remembers. So she knew the whole time. Whoa, that was him? Just say I'm dealing with some special circumstances, and I need your help. Oh, you want me that badly, hmm? Where I'm going, the truth is suppressed, even when the mystery is solved. That's why I need you. You have a way to circumvent that. <laughs> You're really depending on me, huh? I may be cute, but I'm still a death god, you know. You gotta pay a fitting price to make a pact with me. I know. If it means perfectly solving the world's mysteries, I don't mind selling my soul. Emotions must be discarded to reach a perfect solution through a perfect deduction. That is the detective's way. Oh, you've got a few screws in your head loose, don't you? Why are you so hung up on solving mysteries anyway? To make everyone happy, of course. I want to eradicate all unsolved mysteries from this world and bring happiness to everyone. Although, it's a known fact that some truths are cruel in nature. But exposing the truth to make everyone happy is the perfect solution in my mind. <laughs> are you serious? What does that even mean? I want to make a world where no one weeps while imprisoned by unsolved mysteries. Is it really so strange to wish for that? Oh, it's so weird hearing him talk like that. 
It's like a different person. I mean, I guess in a sense it is. As he lost all his memories, he's like a different person. I want to eradicate all unsolved mysteries from this world and bring happiness to everyone. I said that? And you found out someone created a homunculus of you and that it was part of the great global mystery? You formed a pact with me to settle things with yourself. And that's the path you chose for your perfect solution. You even sacrificed your memories and your position as number one to make it happen. So my being here with you is proof of your relentless will. What's right or wrong can change depending on who you ask. There are infinite correct answers, but the truth is different. There's only one definite truth, and that's what's inside this mystery labyrinth. Whether it's correct or not is a separate issue that you can figure out after the mystery is solved. But right now, you have to expose the truth. Otherwise, nothing can be solved. If you give that up, then your life as a detective, everything you've done up to this moment, it'll all be for nothing. <sighs> Master, you're not alone. Oh? If you can't do it by yourself, then rely on me. Just like you always do. We may not be the best partners in the world, but we make a pretty good pair. So, don't call it quits by yourself. Exposing the truth to make everyone happy is the perfect solution. I'm not the old me anymore. There's no way I can do it. But... There is something I haven't given up on. I want to bring happiness to everyone. I believe that from the bottom of my heart. So, I'll keep solving mysteries. Happiness shrouded in mystery isn't real happiness! Master! Real happiness? Happiness not shrouded in mystery? You believe that could exist in comedy? I see. He's a mystery phantom of you, not me. Yep. You think you can achieve this so-called perfect solution so copy couldn't accomplish it but you think you can just because you're the original you're an empty shell of a man who has lost his memories do you honestly think you can make everyone happy i'm by your side master i know shinigami let's expose these mysteries together my memories and my past don't matter I will solve it all as Yuma Cuckoo Head! Well, okay, there's too many. There's too many of him. No. Oh no. Oh no. No, no. This isn't a reasoning death match, is it? No, it can't be. I can't do it. I can't. I'm so tired. It's like 1 in the morning right now. I've been awake since 5 a.m. I'm exhausted. <laughs> but there's been no place for me to save. Come on, what's happening? There we go. Corporation received a request from the UG to research homunculi. The UG planned to use these immortal synthetic humans for military purposes. I'm, I'm backwards. I can't. Was into the research. 
and Amaterasu and Kanai Ward developed quickly as a result. But the UG also set up their own research facility, which pit the two organizations against each other. And three years ago, the UG facility finally succeeded in creating a homunculus. This was the birth of the homunculus based on the top detective of the WDO, number one. Of its kind in the world. You, Makoto I'm Makoto. Oh, am I supposed to be doing this? Oh, sorry. Was I supposed to be doing that the whole time? Which one is it though? I don't know. Stay out of my way. Oh, that was wrong. How am I supposed to know which one's which? I just it's trial and error? Oh, it's the one with the sword, obviously. Duh. Sorry. Okay, I'm back. All unsolved mysteries from this world and bring happiness to everyone. As your father, I want the same thing. And that's why I'll protect everyone in Kanai Ward. These pitiful homunculi didn't ask to be made, and neither did I. Do I just repel what he says? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. The peacekeepers Yomi held the real power in Amaterasu. And upon hearing of the Yuji facility's successful experiment, Amaterasu panicked and extracted blood from all the residents of Kanai Ward to initiate Project Homunculus. The experiment failed. The defective homunculi went berserk after exposure to sunlight, ravaging the city. This is the blank week mystery. You arrived at the city during these events and tried to rectify things. You made the rain cloud generator to block out the sun and brought the people back to their senses. But the original residents had already been wiped out by them. I didn't remember anything from the blank week, returning to their lives thinking they were human. And the Yuji decided to exterminate Kanai Ward along with the defective homunculi. Whoa, okay, calm down. What is that? <laughs> it reminds me of a Junko was huge. Oh. that 
did was create more unsolved mysteries. Still, I wanted to protect the homunculi. I had to. If I didn't, who would? I'm very concentrated right now. You took advantage of the WDO. You abducted vicious criminals and brought them to Kanai War. Come on, I clicked the button. I clicked that button. Director Yomi was your biggest obstacle in protecting the homunculi of Kanai War. Even though he is a homunculus. He and Dr. Wester were planning to leak information about them to the outside world. If Kanai War's secret had been made public, the UG would have been forced to act. Yomi grew too powerful, so you summoned master detectives to Kanai Ward to get rid of him for you! Once gathered here, we faced off with the peacekeepers just like you wanted. You helped Chief Yako get his revenge from behind the scenes, taking Dr. Weska and Yomi out of the picture!
feel bad defeating him because he is Yuma and like I'm feeling conflicted because he is Yuma he has Yuma's face so like I feel this is the real perfect solution the only difference is the world hasn't caught up to me yet the WDO now belongs to me the unified government will soon fall into my hands so I believed. But I can only lie to the people of Kanai Ward for so long. We're coming to a tipping point. I know the end will come eventually. But there's no turning back. What am I supposed to do? I'm, I'm feeling conflicted because... What sacrifice? What can I do? Everyone. He's Yuma. And now I'd like I don't want to beat him. Time, I've carried this burden alone. I can't do it anymore. Somebody help me. Oh. I don't wanna I don't wanna just des destroy him. Like, I don't... I don't want to kill him. I really don't. I don't want to do it. You wanted someone to stop you from the beginning, didn't you? Were you hoping to be punished for your crimes? Is that why you led me here? I don't fight to lose. As the real me, you should know that. Only one of us will leave this mystery labyrinth. My intention was to review our answers here. It looks like the conclusion has been made. I realized something the first time I came to this city. There was no perfect solution for Kanai Ward's mysteries. And there's a great contradiction here. In order to follow through with the perfect solution, I had to commit another crime. I despise unsolved mysteries more than anyone else. And yet, I ended up creating even more. The mysteries have consumed me. Connor Ward can't be trapped in the rain for much longer. You can't live in a world of lies forever. We have to put an end to this. I guess we do. I know it's our only option. But can you really do it? It's a cruel decision to make. I can't do it. I don't... I, if they give me the choice, I don't think I can do it. What's wrong? If you refuse, you will be yielding to me. Because... Like, I know, like, I've hated him this whole time. I've hated Makoto this whole time. But seeing him with Yuma's face, I don't know, it's... My heart hurts. Because I've grown attached to Yuma. Though I guess his actual name is Makoto. I don't... Like, seeing him without the mask on, seeing his face, if they give me the choice, I don't think I can do it. I'll become 
death, or the devil himself for the sake of Kanai Ward. Now, choose. Are they really gonna make me choose? Either you reap my soul, destroy the mystery labyrinth, and expose the truth of Kanai Ward. Or give up and remain here forever. Oh my god. They are giving me the choice. What is your solution? I don't know. I can't make it right now. Master, I already said everything I wanted to say. In the end, it's your decision. I believe in you. I don't want to reap his soul. I get, because he's Yuma. What's wrong? Destroy me already! Otherwise, you will die here instead! Please don't hate me, but I'm gonna end this part here. I know, I know. I, I, I really, I need to take some time, like a couple of days to actually think about it. Because I genuinely don't know what to do. Um, I will... Uh, I'll talk about it more when I start the next episode. But I'm feeling very conflicted. And it's, it's purely because Makoto has Yuma's face. And like, I, I, I had a feeling he would have his face the whole time. But seeing it is another thing than thinking it. And like, only seeing the mask. Because like... The whole time he had the mask on, I'm like, he's creepy, he's a weirdo, he's a he's a, a weasel. <laughs> and like, I do think he is those things, but seeing him as Yuma is making it very difficult for me. So, uh, I have to choose to either destroy the labyrinth or stay here forever. I don't know what to do. So I'm going to take the time to think about it and I will be ending this part here. Um, it's also extremely late. I played this a lot longer than I wanted to. I've been playing for like four and a half hours, I think. This is it's too much. It's too much. I need to go to sleep. But um, thank you so much for watching. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments. I want to talk about this. <laughs> I want to talk about it more. Um, I will probably, you know, actually talk about it more in the next at the beginning of the next episode but yes i think we're we're really nearing the end now like it's the end of the chapter the end of i'm assuming there might be like a, an epilogue maybe it's short i don't know but it's it's at the end and uh i'm feeling conflicted but yes thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye bye